Hello, welcome to the first tutorial of Race Tab 3. Race Tab 3 is still currently under development. However, uh, I'm, I wanted to go ahead and get a video out for everybody so uh, everybody can see how to use it. Um, I'm going to type up some meet results that actually happened back in 2003, just uh, just for an example. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Teams tab and see there's no teams. I'm going to click the Add button to add a new team. And I'm going to start typing Tampa Jesuit, and you'll see it does autocomplete for me. That's because I've typed this name before. So ResTap is smart enough, even though I haven't typed it within this meet, that it remembers it uh, from before, so, which is kind of nice. And so click Save and Add Another. Then I'm going to type in Lynn Jesuit. Save and Add Another. And finally, we're going to type Bishop. teams. Um, going over to the athletes tab, for this tutorial I really don't need to type the athletes in, but I'm going to do a couple just, just so you can see that and also to, to, for an example later that I'll show you. Um, so I click the add button again and for this one I'm going to sign bib number one. Um, just manually sign that bib number. Normally you wouldn't manually sign it, but in some cases you would want to. Um, so we're going to type Andy, go do. Enter key, and you'll see it saves it and returns me to the first name. Um, and so I can key in a different bib number if I like. Um, in this case, I'm not going to type in a bib number at all for him, for uh, Eduardo Aguayo Mondolin. And then I'm going to click save and close. We have our two athletes, one with a bib number, one without. Uh, now we're going to go to our events tab. And I'm going to select the event that I'm, I want to work on. And I'll show you a few different ways to enter results. Um, one, you can type in the bib number. So for Andy, we have his bib number. He crosses the line, put in his bib number, and it fills out the rest of his information. Um, I'm going to skip over the place. The places will be assigned later automatically, so just skip that over. And I'm going to type in um, the time. Notice I'm typing in the time with no punctuation. You can type in punctuation if you want, but you don't have to. So it's a time saver. So we do that and you'll see I hit tab and automatically added that punctuation. Very convenient. Uh, Eddie did not have a bib number so I'm just going to type, start typing in his name and you see it does autocomplete. Hit tab, fills out the rest for me and I can type in his time. That. Okay, we only added two athletes but we have you know, a whole, whole lot more athletes. Uh, we do not have to go back to the athletes tab and add them which is a very, very nice feature. Um, we can just actually start typing the name. So we can type it that. And his time was 9.41.58. So you see it, it uh, did some magic for me. And uh, if I go for the Athletes tab, you see it automatically created that new athlete. So that's a big time saver. Uh, and that one I type first name, last name. Um, we can also do last name, first name if we like. does not matter. 38. So that's very cool, but you know, what if we get an athlete and uh, we don't know their, their name right now? Well, let's, we can just skip right over the athlete name column. And we just know there's somebody else from Bishop Kenny. And you'll see it keyed in there um, automatically the question marks for me. And that person's time was 9178. So you see back on the athlete staff, we now have the athlete with the question marks. Well, later as we uh, we're gonna we'll continue on typing. Let's see, Tony. And let's say a little bit later we find out who this athlete is. We say, oh, that was Jeff. We do that there over on the athletes tab it's fixed also. So see all this is very smart and uh, it's really easy to work with. Um, so we can keep going. So John. So we go ahead 957, 97. So you see it created John on the and then you say, uh oh, well John's not on Belen Jesuit, John's on Bishop Kenny. Well easy enough, you can just 
change it here, and it will change it in the athlete record as well. So this is all simple and really easy to use. Through the magic of television, I will fast forward to when I have finished typing these results. Okay, so now I've completed all the results. Let's see, I've typed them up here. And so to complete this event, and also to add in all the places, 